Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about constructors and private variables in Python. So let's actually start by just creating a class called my class that inherits from an object, just like in the last video. And we'll kind of just get started. So constructors in Python are basically just special methods in a uh, special methods in a class that allow it to call those functions at certain times, uh, which are kind of just defined times. Um, the most common one is called init, which are, we are going to use here. And init is the function called when you make an instance of your class. So it's our, it looks like this to define it, def dunder init dunder self, and then any other variables that you want your class to use that it's going to need on creation. So this one's just going to take name. And then in here we're going to set self.name equal to name and self.uname or self.underscore uname equal to name. Now let's also make four more functions. We'll have one called get name which will just print out your name is and we'll say self.name and then another one called def dot or def git org name which will get our uh, underscore u name that we're talking about um, and it will just say print your original name name is um, and then pass itself dot underscore you name now let's actually make another function that's going to start with a dumb, uh, an underscore and we'll call it change name or no we'll call it underscore new name self comma new and it's going to say self dot name is equal to new now this function is going to be very important so remember to look back at this one um, it's just important specifically because of the underscore that precedes it and we'll talk about this in a little bit and then we're, we're going to have it uh, yeah do nothing else after that actually and then we'll make another function called change name which is going to take self and new as well and then it's going to actually call the new name function with the underscore in front of it and pass it the new um, attribute as well as print out your name is now uh, or we'll say your new name is percent s percent self dot name okay so let's actually create our class now if we do instan is equal to my class we have to specify a name in between these parentheses if we don't it'll throw an error and this is due to the init method so if we press that it's going to say hey you're supposed to give the argument name so because of that's kind of just showing the init method in action because we made the init method we have to specify those variables so we'll make this one curt now next thing we can do is instan dot get name for example and that will say your name is Kurt now what if we say instan dot get org name well now it's going to say your original name is Kurt now what if we do uh, instan dot change name Chris or no Stormageddon I got this from Doctor Who so I'm not sure if that's spelled right please do not judge me although I, I'd be interested on how that's actually spelled anyways ooh ugh. my bad guys one second let me redefine the class I messed up okay so this is where I messed up I <laughs> retyped out the class um, up above I said underscore new name new I was supposed to say self dot 
underscore new name new uh, because we have to make sure that we're referring to a function within the class rather than a uh, function outside of the class. Um, that's my bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, ignoring the man behind the curtains, if we recreate this, Um, and do instand dot change name to stormgeddon um, it will actually say your name is storm your new name is stormageddon and if we were to do instand dot get name that's what it'll give us and if we were to do git org name or rig org name um, it will say your original name is Kurt now the reason I made um, our change name method call the uh, method that starts with the underscore is that this is supposed to be what we call a private method and by the way this attribute up here is supposed to be what we call a private attribute and that's because Python does not have true private variables or a private keyword like other object-oriented languages like Java, for example. So what we do is we actually use this convention of a single underscore to kind of say like, hey, you shouldn't be using this. Don't, don't actually, you know, do anything with this thing. I mean, you can call it, but you, you shouldn't. Don't, it says don't expose this method. Now, if you're an idle and you do in stan, stan dot, wait for a little bit, it'll pop up with this thing. And it'll show all of our attributes and functions except for the ones that start with either a single or double underscore. Now, however, we can call um, new name if we wanted to by specifying, oops, by specifying that uh, function like that. But it's something we're not supposed to do. It's kind of a convention saying like, hey, you know, there's that big red button over there, but you shouldn't touch it. And it's usually for good reasons. Um, some classes may actually break if you call a function directly like that, depending on how they're implemented. So basically just don't ever call those. Now if it starts with double underscore, like the init, That's something you're definitely never supposed to ever call. However, again, you can do it. And if we do instand.get name, you'll see that it's right there. However, you again, don't call anything that has underscores in front of it. it there's a good chance you'll break something. Anyways, uh, that's all for this video. Um, that's pretty much all there is. Um, there's also other constructors, constructors such as the string constructor, um, init constructors. Um, I would just Google them on like python.org and look into all of them. There's a there's a big list of them, so that's why I'm not going to go all, over all of them. But the init one is the most commonly used one and probably the more important one to use. So that's why I showed it now. Anyways, if you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know. Ask them in the comment section below or PM me. If you'd like to say if you'd like to see future videos, please subscribe. Um, if you like the video, like it, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.